good question. Who's my community? That's a great question, Chris. Who's my community? That's a really good question. Who is my community? I don't feel like I'm part of a community. That's real. I, I respect that. I respect that. And why is that? I feel like there's this area is it's nice, but there's a lot of separation. I think of my community in a lot of different ways because I have a lot of different identities. You know, philanthropists, investors, uh, entrepreneurs, community leaders, anybody who's trying to do give back to their community and do something meaningful um, for people uh, who have been left out. That, that is my community as well. And my community uh, are the people on my street. My community is ecosystem builders. Yeah, nothing's gonna jump out at you. It's just high grass. See, I see my community as both local, national, and international. Um, you know, locally, my community is rather mixed here. Kansas City has largely looked outside of itself to define success. And we have some really great and wonderful and unique assets here, geographically, culturally, that when I see us intersecting outside of Kansas City, my other world is intersecting outside of Kansas City, um, it's a little bit of a validation. Because people are like, well, what's going on in Kansas City? Let me see what you guys got, guys got going on there. Chris! I was about to say, just want to make sure you was good. Community is is the people that surround you, that you involve in your life, your neighbors, the people you do business with. You help your community in many ways, and you help other local business owners in this real mind community by showing off their products. Mm -hmm. What? Why do you do that? Because that's how community is supposed to be. My community then um, was always family and um, and close friends. Okay. That was my community then. Uh, by showing the product our, our, our establishment on our two most busy days, it gives them like the opportunity to like put themselves out there and say, hey, I'm here, you know, I'm also trying to make a, make a living, you know. In my community now, being someone who, who moved away from Kansas City and came back home, um, you know, it's now really more of the folks that I, I work with doing the work that I do in economic development. I think community is cultivated and what kind of community I'm a part of is more centered around who is willing to cultivate that kind of connection and environment with and around me. And do you think your community can be defined by a map? You know, I think that, you know, it's multifaceted so they you can never be defined you know, solely by, by a map, you know, it's defined by its people. We need really more positive, positive in the community. Kansas City needs more farmer markets, they need more urban farms, they need more support for the urban farms. Like of course we have, you know, the young family farm that does a great service in the community, but there needs to be more. I would say it's a multiple things. More home ownership, more entrepreneurship, and then we also need to participate more in agriculture. Talk to some people to work on the red area. To right. See if some buildings could be placed there. Uh huh. Like what you mentioned here, like more of these buildings. So you would like to see more here. of those buildings in redlined areas? Yes. And Access. We need hope. We need a chance. Um, as of right now, we need capital. What does my community need? A, a lot of different things. Um, like I said, equal, equal opportunity, equity, you know, health, uh, you know, just general things that all humans need pretty mm -hmm. much. Where I live, it, it still needs an infusion of equity. You know, a lot of people sit around and expect the government to change it. And the government's sitting around waiting on the people to, to ask for it to be changed. We need to make a difference. We need to make a stand, make a change. And it takes the people standing up and making a change before something actually gets done. There's hardly any investment back in the community from our city government. And that's one of the major things that we need to be focused on. It goes deep. There, there's so much that we've missed out on 
because of redlining. And it, it's in the housing industry, it's in education, it's in it's in healthcare, it's in business. Right now, we are in uh, you know 41st and Truth, and we're surrounded by like neighborhoods like you know Hyde Park, South Portland, uh, Rock Hill, uh, you know the Truth Corridor. Where's the community center here? There's no community center. Rebecca Jones and Levi Jones. We are co-lead pastors here at St. Paul's Church of the Nazarene. What does your community need? Well, um, that's one of the things that we're trying to understand and trying to have conversations around. Um, I can't say that I know what all of those things are. Uh, part of that has to come from listening to people from the youngest of ages to the oldest of ages. I will say that the community that we are in is in a food desert. And so having access to healthy food is so essential. The challenges, again, as Becca mentioned, even some of the educational opportunities for students uh, is a concern. And so those are the kinds of things that we're keeping an eye on. We need true people that actually want to support. We need more um, examples. We need more examples of uh, man, people like myself um, <laughs> like for real, not nah, for real. Uh, the answer is us. Is we need each other. We need to start trusting each other that we have what it takes to make this community what we see it being.